Good evening, folks, and welcome to Irish Media Network Sports Update. I'm your host, and welcome to the show. Now, anyone who knows anything about the world of Irish athletics will know that the ladies over 800 metres have been absolutely killing it lately. And joining me on the show is Shifra Cleary Butner, the latest record breaker from Ireland over 800 metres. Shifra, thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for reaching out. Well, like, like I, I'm absolutely privileged to be joined by you because I want to take you back to, to Sunday evening in Arkansas. So it was an American Track League meet. Uh, yourself and your training partner, Heather McLean, finished first and second. She beats you literally by a stride, 0. 0.004 of a second. You finish, you hug, you look up at the screen. It has 2.0058 seconds on the clock. Surely you knew you'd, beat the, you'd beaten the Irish record and setting a new one. What's going through your mind? Uh, yeah, we were both kind of like, not in shock, but we were both just kind of, uh, I don't know, it was a weird feeling because we both, we knew we'd run fast because there's actually a funny picture of us finishing and we're both looking at the clock, but I don't actually remember seeing what even the clock said. I think we just nice. instinctively looked at the clock, but uh, yeah, we finished the first thing, we just like turn around, we we always like when we race each other, we just like hug straight away, so it was uh just I feel like we already knew by the feeling that we had run really fast and then I looked at the screen and uh Heather was like oh my god is is that a record is that a record and then because we both PB'd and I was like yeah yeah I think it is <laughs> so uh it was it was just kind of like fun like we were both just really happy and um like we both felt really good in the race so it was, it was just everything clicked and it was nice to have her to do it with so it was a great day for us and like our team and like Irish athletics is on fire at the moment. So it's nice that I can try and keep up with the girls back home that are uh, crushing it back there. Absolutely. Like it's incredible. Obviously, to be honest, I, I'm a bit uninitiated, but like if you have the vaguest interest in Irish sport, you'd, you'd know that it's blowing up at the moment. So as far as I know, from the 30th of January, uh, Nadia Power beat your record set in 2018. And then since then, between the 30th of January, 21st of February, six new records were set over 800 metres by women. Um, yours being the, the newest uh, record in that. Where is this coming from, this incredible level of performance in, in such a short period of time? Yeah, I mean, I know, like, for Nadia, it's been, like, she's always been good and like recently I think she's just really gotten in stride and like things are clicking and it's not it wasn't a huge shock for me to see her doing so well because she's been really consistent over the last like six weeks and it's great to see because like even when I was home at Christmas we did a session together on the indoor track and I knew we were both really fit so that was really cool to see her um just kind of lighten it up on the track and then like the I think everyone else is just like it really excited like to race like even over here we don't have that many opportunities so when you get some you're kind of just to like excited to get out there and like you've been training really hard so it's just a matter of taking uh, advantage of the opportunity absolutely and can I ask you so as, as I say Nadia had actually set another record last Wednesday so when you're going out on Sunday is, is that in the back of your mind I can beat that. Like I'm in really good form <laughs> at the moment. I want to go out and set a new record myself. Um, I think like with our sport, because it's like an individual sport, I think it's important to kind of have that competitiveness. But mm -hmm. at the same time, you, you you don't want to get caught up in it. You want to just focus on your own. So like what I was just focused on was visualizing my race that day. And I just really wanted to run fast and um, like – really I'm just focused on my own race but uh mm -hmm. yeah you, you definitely like see people doing well and you just get excited about yourself trying to do well as well and keep up with all the good performances but um I mean you, you always want to you know break records and run fast and run faster so I think it's definitely great that like there's so much competition for us now uh with Irish girls in the 800 because we can like kind of work off each other's energy and like raise the bar literally and and just like make it harder for each other and at the same time make it easier for each other so it's it's great drive one another I, i'd imagine that's a huge part of it and you were saying there yourself and and nadia trained over christmas she was on today fm or sorry two fm yesterday and she was saying that you both being so competitive drives each other to, to higher heights what's the relationship like like there's four irish women now in the top 20 ranked 800 meter runners in the world 
what's that relationship like between you all is it is it healthy competitive yeah i mean i think um so i'm i'm not too close with the other two like i know louise from just racing against her over the years and like uh we're always really like friendly when we see each other but i don't know uh georgie at all um so i've never met her so but it's great to see her like also doing really well and like the other girls that race over the indoor season i do know from just the past like isolde o'donnell and katie kirk like i'm i always see them at competitions and we're really friendly but at the same time like they're your competitors so um yeah, i think course. it's but it's really good for the support for the sport for everyone to kind of get along well and uh, like you want the sport to be doing well so i think that's something that like is definitely happening at the moment so it's great to have the competitiveness but also the sportsmanship yeah yeah and i'd imagine we'll say now you're going over to the european indoor athletics championship next weekend so the 5th to the 7th of march uh yourself nadia and jordy are are all picked for that so i'd imagine that that competitiveness but also that camaraderie forges a good kind of team unity going to events like that yeah i mean i was just thinking about it earlier and i was thinking it's going to be nice like to kind of have people that you can like either warm up with or you just know they're going through like the same thing same kind of uh events as you and of course we are all kind of competing for a spot in each round so we're also like competitors for that but we have the common ground of like competing for our country and like it's just nice to have kind of like a someone to go through it and that's like a big thing that was special about this past weekend is i had heather to like you know room with and warm up with and just like have that companion that makes it like just more fun as well so i think it's nice that we'll all be there together and just like want to run really well for ourselves and for Ireland so it's it's an exciting time definitely well absolutely sounds that and and I want to just touch on that's so your base in Boston at the moment you were in Villanova University and you've stayed in the states since from what you're hearing back home how is it different the situation you're in in the states in terms of the infrastructure you have in terms of the training opportunities you have what what can you do over there that you mightn't be able to do back here because of restrictions Um so I know that like Athletics Ireland and Sport Ireland have been trying to give um like top level athletes access to the indoor track but I know that was like an issue for a while and I know in Great Britain right now like it's really difficult for them to get track access um especially when the weather is so bad but here like we're actually in a similar situation because we haven't stepped on an indoor track unless it was for the races so we haven't been able to use any of the indoor tracks in Boston so we like today uh our coach was shoveling the bend of lane 1 on the outdoor track because there was snow all over it and ice so like that's just kind of the <laughs> the type of situation we're dealing with at the moment just because we had a lot of snow last week and the week before but um so that would be one thing you know it's really cold in the winter in Boston so although we do have tracks there outdoors and it's just like definitely different on the body um the session is going to be a bit more difficult when it's in minus degree uh temperatures but running wise like we we were away at altitude camp for january and it's a little bit nicer like there in colorado was it uh no we were in flagstaff arizona oh so, sorry so um yeah so we would go down to a little bit of a warmer spot for our sessions on the outdoor track which was great for the we had snow out there too so there was one day where like we had to go and run on treadmills but uh yeah like it's definitely a little bit of a navigation process when you have bad weather and have no option to go inside so yeah and i, I would have of even uh, considered that the like the the restriction to actually training on indoor tracks yeah and gym access has been a little iffy like thankfully right now our new bounds gym is open but they had to close for all of january um we weren't there but like that is just something else so they have to close with certain restrictions and that can be tough cuz then you have to just do your like lifting exercises from home and it's not exactly the same but you make do with whatever you have yeah i suppose that's the, the situation that a lot of athletes are unfortunately in at the moment uh in terms of the the european championships going up 
I, I'm really, I, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm more interested now than ever I have been before. And I think there's going to be a huge amount of uh, interest in Ireland about it. I know TG Cahar, for instance, are, are airing the, the championships in Madrid tomorrow in which, in which Nadia is running. Will you be watching that with an eye to the European Championships, thinking she sets a new record now? That'd be more motivation for me to run faster in the Euros, or, or, or what's your level of interest in it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to get it here on stream, like, hopefully, but I might need access to some forum. But, um, I mean, I really want Maddie to run, like, fast. I want myself to run fast, and I think we can, like, do that next week as well. But, uh, um, like, that record is not safe at the moment from anyone. So uh, it's not like I think I have it secured for a while now. I think it'll definitely be... um, taken down again like possibly by either of us or like Harrington as well like next week could be an opportunity for that to happen so we'll just have to see uh, how everyone does and like hopefully Nadia has a smashing one tomorrow and I'll probably just be looking for live results somewhere which will be exciting. I, I think that's an incredible environment to be in to to um encourage competitiveness and, and drive standards i absolutely cannot wait to see you running in the european championships from the 5th to the 7th of may uh, sorry march rather and i hope everybody at home will be following you as well best of luck to you in that and thank you so yeah, much for joining you. me today and hey enjoy the the record while it lasts because you yeah, may have exactly. to smash it again in two weeks time well, I mean, if she gets it again, then that's just more motivation for me to get it again. 100%. So we're, <laughs> 100%. So we're just going to be working off each other, which is, it, it'll be fun to watch. Absolutely. We'll be all tuned in and we'll be all rooting for you. Thanks a million for joining us this evening. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.